Hey guys, I wanted to address a issue or a question that I get a lot, and that is about controlling your sound grid network. With Waves, you have three applications. You can use SoundGrid Studio, Multirec SoundGrid, or you can use LV1, but only one can control your SoundGrid network at a time. So if we were in SoundGrid Studio, if we were doing recording, or more commonly, if you're doing live sound, you'll be using SoundGrid Studio to route your MGB to tracks live. So you would grab your device here. Now I only have an IOX available at the moment, but we'll pretend this is an MGB. You would select your external computer. So I have an external PC connected, which we can see here. And then a server is not necessary if you're just routing via device to device. Um, but if you're using an application like Multirack, the routing is a little bit different. So we'll go over and show you that. Okay, so we are in Multirec now. Now, if you were using Multirec on an external computer, you'll want a SoundGrid server and some SoundGrid IO for your routing between your console and Multirec, but you can also add an external PC and use an application like Drex Live or Pro Tools or whatever to do some recording. But like I mentioned before, you will do all of your routing inside Waves Multirec SoundGrid. So we'll go up here and look in our inventory. Now I'll point out uh, two things here. First of all, these two in-use items, this is my desktop and this is the DigiGrid D. These are in use right now because I'm doing a screen recording and I'm recording my voice uh, through SoundGrid Studio, even though I have it closed here. It's still up and running here in the bottom. So we'll ignore these for now, but we'll want to grab multi-rack. This is already assigned to one. We can grab IOX here, but in your example, this will be like an MGB or the Direct Out Technologies SoundGrid to MADI converter. And then we'll grab our external PC here. And then our server is assigned. And then we'll make connections. So in your example, you'll be grab, grabbing your MGB and then going to Multirec. And then this would be like 1 through 32 or whatever. We'll just do 1 through 6 now. And then you'll do Multirec to your MGB. And it'll be the same amount of channels. Now, if you were recording as well, you would grab your MGB pretend that this is an MGB. We'll just do 7 through 12. But in your instance, this would be uh, this will be 33 through 64 or whatever, however you set it up. And then we'll go to your driver. But like I mentioned, multi-rack is only controlling the network. You're not using LV1 or using SoundGrid Studio. You are only selecting the SoundGrid driver on your external computer. So I've got a PC set up with a USB gigabit ethernet port or ethernet adapter. And I have selected that adapter in SoundGrid driver control panel. Nothing else is open on the other machine uh, except for Trax Live or Pro Tools or whatever. So we will close multi-rack here. And now I will go into LV1 and show you kind of the same thing. Okay, so we are in LV1 right now. Very much like SoundGrid Studio, this looks very familiar. So you would grab whatever I.O. you wanted. We will grab our external computer. The external PC is setting up here, and we will grab our server. Now, much like SoundGrid Studio, you could also use this application to just route things in your network if you didn't have a server, in this instance we do. But if we're using LV1 and we're using the mixing capabilities in LV1, then we would route our MGB or IOX to our channels here. And then we would just go into our patch panel and then either route our IOX to our second computer, just one for one, 
or we could run the direct outs of the LV1, or I guess the main point is we would handle all of our routing in this section very similar to SoundGrid Studio. But like I mentioned, the main point is we are only using LV1 to control our entire network. So anyway, guys, I hope this cleared some things up for some people. And as always, if this video was helpful, like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll keep on churning out content when I can. So thanks again.